you guys have no idea how good it feels to be able to react to a full episode of Moro Oral with you guys and not be constrained to one minute. I really hope these videos do well so that I have more incentive to make these rather than just shorts. <laughs> Oh. I hope that teaches you a lesson, young man. It sure does, Dad. I'm never gonna do that with those in there for that long ever again. Good boy, son. All right, so this is already really weird because normally most episodes end with Moral getting his punishment, but now we're starting the episode with Oral getting the punishment. I can already tell this episode is gonna be special. How would you like to go on a father and son outing together? Father and son, and how? Good. It's about time I taught you how to hunt. Hunt? Yep. Man has been able to artificially replicate many things that God originally invented. But there's one thing we'll never be quite able to copy, even with all our scientific beakers and advanced laboratory rats. What, Pops? Playing God. Good God, Clay's lessons that he tells Oral, they're just the most egregious shit ever. Well, I don't mind going along and, and maybe just watching. Nonsense, buddy. We are gonna have a real adventure. But I'm not sure I can kill an animal, Dad. Sure you can. It's easy. As long as you got one of these babies. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what? Have we ever been shown this before? Like, how does he afford all these weapons? My man Clay has an artillery. For years, it's been a grand Poppington tradition that the head of the household would hand off old Gunny to his firstborn son. Eh, here, why don't you try this one instead? Oh. Classic Clay. Just absolute asshole. Ruins a good moment. I'm all back, Dad! Ah, no need, kiddo. I've got everything covered. All you have to bring is your trigger finger. And the trigger. And the gun. As much as I absolutely despise Clay, his delivery on most jokes are really good. So it just makes me laugh even though I really don't want to. Okay, don't need this. Or this. Or definitely this. But- Now what's this? Oh, that's my favorite lucky shirt! Favorite? Yeah! Of all my lucky shirts, this one's the closest to my heart. It's the one I was wearing when I realized that God doesn't love just me, but my whole family as much as me. Oral is so sweet, so innocent. From what I read from the comments, I'm gonna assume that Oral is gonna be much different after season two. Hey, Dad. We've returned to another wonderfully inspirational repeat of the Link McMissin show. Okay, yeah, this episode's tone is completely different. I'm only four minutes into the episode and already everything is completely different. <laughs> ah, that'll do it. <laughs> of course, Clay would set up a tent for his alcohol. Ah. I cannot imagine Clay's liver being anywhere near okay. Did he bring a fucking AK-47 for a hunting trip? This is the life, kid. Out in the fresh air, no one telling you what to do or how her day was. Away from the hustle and bustle of nagging. Yeah. <laughs> I've never brought this up before, but I love the way that this show, how the show relays its character's emotions through just the facial expressions alone. And mind you, these are clay, so the talent that it takes to do this is unbelievable. Also, that was another time right there where normally a joke would have been said, but instead Oral just is quiet and looks at his dad. I'm just so anxious now. Okay, I'm gonna make a guess that that bird is important because when they were driving on the road, that bird was there. And now he's kind of looking at Oral as if the bird's like an angel of some sort. I could be wrong. I like to make guesses while I'm watching things. Dude, the sound design right there in that little scene was so great. Seeing Oral struggling to shoot the gun, seeing Clay get all angry, and then having the sounds of the forest get super loud, that genuinely made my spine shiver. Oh, this show is so good. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Aww. 
And you lose. What are you doing? Why, I'm going to shoot that rabbit, of course. Dad, uh, that's not a rabbit. It's someone's hunting dog. No, he's not. Oral, hunting dogs are just... <laughs> nature's rabbits. <laughs> hey! It's so messed up. Even though Clay's probably drunk, he knows what he's doing. You know when people drink so much that eventually, even though they're drunk, they're still completely in control of themselves? Clay is the worst character in anything ever. <laughs> Bro, this man has a fucking double barrel shotgun. I'm pretty sure half of these guns aren't even legal to go hunting with. I didn't even realize he's cooking the dog. Nothing can redeem Clay after this. And I have a very good feeling that it's gonna get worse from here. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> oh, bro. You're not even gonna shave the hair off? Good God. Ugh. Dad? I'm hungry. This is all we got, son. What I killed, and you didn't. Do you really want some of what you didn't kill? Okay. Well... I guess I better try to kill something. As much as I hate to agree with Clay, Oral has to kill something, right? But at the same time, I really don't want Oral to kill anything. I don't want Clay to feel the satisfaction. God, he pissed. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm genuinely upset right now. I am super fucking heated. Watch out, animals. Here we come. <laughs> uh, on second thought, maybe we should call it a day. I thought so. I think you might be too drunk. Oh shit. This is the first time Oral has ever even, that anyone has really ever brought up clay drinking as an issue besides Bilberta. Let me tell you something. Oral drunk is nature. I'm not really comfortable hunting with you right now. Like I said before, this show being able to show so much emotion just by the facial expressions, Oral has never made this face before to anybody in the show. I don't think we've ever seen Oral this sad in a serious situation that isn't filled with jokes. <laughs> By the way, if you've ever had vodka or any kind of hard liquor, he is chugging that shit out of the bottle. I struggle even putting a shot down. Oh, who am I kidding? My life is full of bright. You mean blight? Oh, God. What's the matter? I hate myself. Why do you quit working on me? She always fools me, Oral. I'll make things better, dear. Drink me. Put me inside you. I'm great. And she chokes me just like every other whore out there. You sit there for the rest of your life with nowhere to go and no one to be. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to feel, you know? 